It's day two of Stardom's five-star Grand Prix, and already I'm confused at the structure as Stardom doesn't just do a whole round of wrestlers in one block, then the next. No. Stardom works on their own logic. See, some wrestlers will be having their second match in attorney, while others are still on their first. Either way, today's match is... Momokogo in her second match versus the high-speed genius Koguma in her first match. Hmm. Mina Shirakawa versus the Black Peach Momo Watanabe. We have Risa Sara versus Saki. The Divine Angel Tam Nakano in her first match versus the Jumbo Princess Hameka in her second match. See? Mirai versus Julia. We have Saya Kamatani versus Starlight Kid. And a rematch of their Red Belt feud. Shuri versus Utami Hayashashida. Let's go. First, they both start acting as cute bears because that's the thing Kaguma does because, well, she just likes bears, like all bears, okay? Her personal way to go out in this world would be like Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. And Momokogo just goes along with it like because it's adorable, but really she's being sneaky and tries a series of pins on Kaguma. Then she's like, ah oh, shucks, I messed up. And the older one scolds her with a bop. They have a high speed match. The high speed genius showing how much of a smooth badass she really is. And then they do bear stuff and bear massages while Kumomo does the same and comically tries to massage Kaguma. But Momo is still learning and the person I treat as an anime protagonist of stardom tries her hardest to bear the bear simp. But Kaguma is a veteran and she pulls the Kaguma role out of nowhere for two points. Komomo in her second match, still with zero, as she stares at her unit mate, her inner anime monologue going, But why? Why me? Why must I lose? To someone who loves bears? Bears! Well, I'll get you next time, I swish it! And then anime music goes like, Mina Shirakawa is ready to dance and be super, super, super hot. Oh, but Momo don't give a damn. She breaks the sexy spider in half. Jeez. Momo Watanabe was the runner-up in last year's tournament against Shuri, and she has since undergone a complete personality change. Personally, despite Tam Nakano being in the tournament, I want Momo Watanabe to win this thing. But first, she has to get past Mina by sending her putties to bully her outside. Then the Black Peach punishes Mina's prized possession because Momo is a freaking boss in this match. Damn, damn, damn! Mina has to strike back hard to get in this match before delivering kicks of her own, proving her worth in the ring as someone that is more than her meanness. But then Momo has enough and locks in her chicken wing. Doesn't work. How about her peach? Mina is getting knocked around in this match. Damn. She's been fighting from the bottom since it began, but still has bursts of fighting spirit. She turns into Chris Hero to knock Momo around and nearly wins with her DET. She attempts to finish Momo, but the Black Peach is resilient. Knocks Momo down with the B driver, but Mina sticks around though, forcing Momo to attempt to cheat with her wrench. But the ref is like, no. And Mina with an Inzaguri. Then Mina lands her sexy pin for the win. Holy Sheeta. Mina Mina won two points. I think Mina Shirakawa's tournament arc will be about proving her in-ring worth. Afterwards, she challenges Oedo Tai for the artist belts. Momo was like, whatever, sure you old bitch. And me, me, I'm like, oh damn, that's mean. Two leaders of their own indie group, the Death Queen, Risa Sarah, versus the bubbly Saki. And Risa kicks her ass. I mean, Saki tries with her spam kicks, but Risa just kept hitting big moves one after another, and that was it. Who moves set alone will take her far. Next is Tam versus Himeka. Himeka has a lot of anger for Tam for influencing her little friend Natsupoi away from the group, but takes her serious nonetheless. She has to, not losing her emotions over personal matters. This is a tournament, goddammit. She methodically targets the Divine Angel's back, but she keeps fighting back from underneath the Jumbo One, this colossus that must be slayed. Despite the strength of Himeka, it is the Divine Warrior's conviction that keeps her in the match. Remember, after Natsupoi, Tam basically unlocked Super Saiyan Blue. Blue. She ain't losing. As soon as she has the chance, she beats the Sheeta out of Himeka.
terrific as usual, but she didn't even have to use her full power. Mirai versus Julia. Four more stablemates collide in another big match for Mirai after already defeating Mayu Iwatani, and these two just straight up have a good match. For being so new, Mirai is quite confident in the ring and hits her signature moves perfectly. You can motion capture her for video games. And Julia is a freaking force of nature. I mean, I'm just gonna let the highlights speak for themselves. That was awesome. The Ice Queen, Julia, and Mirai are bringing their S-tier game to this tournament. Mirai scores two of her biggest wins and now has four points, while Julia begins a losing streak. Next is Saya Kamatani versus Starlight Kid. They start off equal, exchanging hits, having the match you expect until Saya tries to outmaneuver Starlight, but can't because Starlight is far quicker than the white belt champion. She's far craftier and aggressive, a scrappy little... You know what? I'm not gonna say it. She takes Saya down with viciousness, and you know what's actually great about Saya? Is her willingness to die from a bump. They have an amazing sequence that proves them both as champion warriors, before Saya uses her strength on the leader of Uedo Tai to blue thunder bomb her to hell. CONSPIRACY! But Saya tries to go for her finisher one too many times, and Starlight Kid is far too, what does JR say? Cerebro. And rolls her up and pins her. Starlight gets revenge on Saya for the win, and just taunts her, and delights my inner spirit, and screw professional meerkat, I can't help it. Yeah, Starlight Kid won! Woo! Yeah, that little bitch did it! The main event is a rematch, a story of redemption. Utami vs Shuri. Utami Hashishida has never beaten Shuri before, and it was Shuri who beat Utami for the red belt to begin her reign as the final boss of stardom. So they enter into epic war. But look, I know people love these two, and I know Dave Meltzer wets his pants over them, and I do like Shuri, and I'm coming around to Utami, but their matches just bore me. They certainly try hard and put a lot of effort, but just really does nothing for me. It does not interest me, I'm sorry. Now into the third act of the match, when all the psychology of whatever they were building builds, and they start exchanging big moves. Then Utami starts turning into a warrior and dishing the hits on Shuri, hitting her big moves to bring that health bar down, until she finally takes one opportunity to hit an amazing and impactful Razor's Edge, her finisher that's actually a really, really cool finisher. With that, finally, Utami beat Shuri. She completed her redemption arc. Two points for Atami. Shuri still has two points as well. Whoa!